Well, hello, hi. Uh, go ahead, start that recording. Good morning. You guys are on my Mighty Mondays. We're going to do uh, four sessions today, and I'll be sharing this with the world on uh, Instagram and on YouTube and on Facebook and on Zoom. I want to, hey guys, hi Sarah and Nate and Nina and Mateo and Kelsey and Dylan and uh, Melody, help me with uh, uh, little genius's name, 13392. Um, Christopher, no, Steve, no, Derek. Oh, I'm goodness gracious, buddy. I'm forgetting your first name, Dylan and Oliver. Hello on Zoom. I love having you guys on Zoom. Um, quick, uh, here's my quick shameless plug. If you guys have fun today, check out my summer art camps I have uh, coming up. Matthew. Hi, Matthew. I thank you, Melody. You pulled through. If you guys want to draw all summer long, I have 14 weeks of summer camp. So go to my website and check that out. They're all Zoom-based summer camps. It's going to be awesome. Now, this Mighty Mondays, every Monday through the school year, these will end at the end of May. We have one more month of uh, Mighty Mondays. And uh, all of you guys, if you're the, the Mighty Mondays are part of the Draw 3D membership. Just so you know, there's that, there's that half-off code if you're a family. So the Mighty Mondays are 10 o'clock in the morning Central Time, 11 o'clock in the morning Central Time, 4 o'clock in the afternoon for the after-school group, and 6.30 at night for all my uh, uh, families and uh, all the date nights, all the parents and grandparents who have date nights. So... Uh, this goes from September, the 1st of September through the end of May. And then during the summer, I do 14 weeks of summer art camps. It's going to be so awesome. Well, uh, once a month, I have been doing these three-hour art immersions. Here's what we did this last Saturday. And and if you guys are uh, would like to see this, this is so cool. It's a three-hour. We did this in one of the hours. And then we did this guy. Melody drew with me on this one. I don't know if any of you, Melody, can you check the audio on all the, all the levels uh, on and send me a chat in, um, send me a chat. Did is the audio working on uh, Instagram and Facebook and YouTube? Send me a chat in Zoom, would you? Just give me a a, a tech or anybody out there. How are you doing? Oh, look at uh, someone on Instagram is watching. With uh, uh, on had you had grew up watching me and drawing with me on Draw Squad, that's cool. Thank you guys. So, this one, then we did this drawing for the three hour art immersion, and then we did this drawing. We did a really busy Saturday, we did really the and then we did the then Mario guest and Mario talked about his design for his trailer. This is a, a bird's eye view of his trailer, so it's really really cool. So, uh, uh, Melody, thumbs up. Is the audio good on uh, Instagram and YouTube and Facebook? All right, good. Well, just so you guys know, if you wanna, if you wanna uh, participate with these uh, these uh, three hour art immersions, you can still see the links. the uh, The links are on special right now. I believe they're they're twenty dollars for the three hour link. If you want to watch it, that's a great discount. So, if you want to see that, that would be great. You know, of course, attitude of gratitude. Appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your uh, art education business. We just, I just so appreciate it. So I'm going to put, this is my three-hour art immersion. I got to put that, keep that separate. All right, today's uh, adventure is called egg, Excellent, egg, uh, excellent egg, egg Expedition. Excellent Expedition. It's, it's going to be pretty cool. And it started, I was going this morning, put, put the, Put your uh, three lines there, your your guidelines. Remember, this is we're developing pencil power today. We're developing pencil power, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. No stress. Give yourself permission to flop. Beep, 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 beep. Give yourself permission to make mistakes. Beep, beep, beep. Stress is on the bus. Give yourself the license to flop because, because you guys, you have to fail to succeed. Failure, if you have to flop, you have to mess up in order to succeed, succeed, succeed. All right, so now one thing I before I start to draw, I want to see uh Facebook comments. So let me uh let me just pull this up real quick. We're gonna draw some really cool drawings. 
And so I've got to pull up Facebook real fast here. And so that way I can see the comments. And I got it pulled up. Oh, you guys see on Facebook that new art piece, that new Mount Rushmore art piece? It's so awesome. You guys got to check this out here. I'll, I'll show you right now. Let me see if my phone, if I can show you on my phone here. Yeah, I can. Here, check this out, you guys. Here. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up here. Uh, you guys got to see this on fate. This it, it's a new, it's a new um, art piece. It's so cool. Um, I don't know if I can't show you. I guess I can show on Instagram. All right, so here's here. I'll show you on Instagram. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Here, I'll show you the picture on Instagram, but I don't think I can. How do I get it so it's a full screen? I, you know what? I can't turn it sideways. Ah, well, here you can kind of see it. <coughs> Excuse me. I got to show you. I, I know this is just such a great picture, so I'm not going to show on Instagram. I got to show you on, uh, I'll show you on my website, markkissler.com. All right, so I went to my website. That's There's my website. Well, be sure to join the mailing list. So join that. And then here's the picture that artist Michael Calero drew. Check this out. He put me in Mount Rushmore with LeVar Burton, Mr. Rogers, and Bob Ross as the 1980s Mount Rushmore icons. If do you guys love that, let me put that on that camera. If you want to see a better image of that, go to my website at markkistler.com. You can see it. I've uh, Michael donated... I'm showing two different cameras here. He donated this wonderful image to my uh, uh, nonprofit, Mark, K it, Mark Kistler's Imagination Initiative. And if you want to get a copy of that, isn't that cool? I get some comments. Some people are saying that he missed Steve Irwin, and I agree. He should put Steve Irwin up there, too. But uh, that just it's just neat. I wanted to show you that. So go to markkistler.com if you want to uh, check out that. I still have a few left of the donated quantity he gave me. It was so nice of Michael Calero to do that. Uh, and William is on there on Facebook. Two of the two of the people have died that were on there. That's right, Bob Ross and um, uh, uh, Fred Rogers has passed away, and uh, Lavar Burton and I are the the last two that are st still still doing what we love to do. Thank you so much. I'm looking at the comments right here, and I sure appreciate all those comments. Uh, I just love that. Thank you. Hi, Tony. Good to see you. Hi, Misty. And hi, uh, everybody. I'm going to wave to everybody on Instagram, and then we're going to start drawing because we got to draw today. All right, let's do it. We're going to start with these. Now, this, we're going to start with these eggs on a cliff. This is all about eggs today. I'm going to draw one egg right here. I'm going to draw one egg right here. And then... I'm going to zoom this in and for 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 uh, number one drawing number one. I'm going to zoom this one in here, and I'm going to just pull it out just a bit. See, this is so fun trying to figure out all these different cameras, and I'm going to put another egg back here. Now this one was it's overlapping. See this? This is in front. This is lower. That's one of these words. And it doesn't matter the size. I'll do a variation. I'll put a bigger egg back here. Like this will be this will be a brontosaurus's egg. This is a T. Rex's egg. Here's a Stegosaurus's egg. Put a little. I'm going to put a little collection of three eggs. And this this lesson was inspired by this old drawing from 2007. This is a journal from 2007 from my summer camp. And I did these volcanoes and sketches. We're going to draw these eggs right here on the on the um on the cliffs the dinosaur eggs on a cliff so i just thought that was so cool from 2007 so these will be the the three eggs now i'm going to put these on a plateau so i put two dots out here and basically i'm going to put a four shortened circle a four short remember those 12 renaissance words it's all about squish and distort remember that squish and distort all right, someone type that into the comments, okay? Squish and distort. So let's uh, take a look at those Renaissance words. These words are 500 years old, remember. And these words are all, they're in the back of that book. You can draw in 30 seconds. That's a chart. 
So I'm, I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to pull. I'm going to. I'm going to do another kind of um, uh, a little. Uh, little another foreshortened part of it coming out. See what I'm going to do here? I'm going to put a, 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 a double foreshortened ledge. So this comes out, and I'm going to pull out another one, and then that one goes back there. Very Sioux style. Very, it almost looks like egg yolks, like one of the eggs is broken. Tony, thank you for typing and squishing distort in the in that uh in the text box, I sure appreciate it. Now let's slant this down. This will be from the edge. We're gonna slant this down, taper it in. See, taper it in, overlapping, wrinkle, wrinkle, wrinkle. I'm gonna offset the wrinkles. I don't want the wrinkles to be straight apart from each other. That's very Sioux style. And then this one, look at this. I'm gonna wrinkle this in here and I'm gonna slant this one in over here. See how cool that was? See what we did? See that? Isn't that awesome? Just by adding those little uh, 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 little thickness lines, we made that edge really, really slanted down here. I'm just waving everybody that comes on Instagram. I'm so glad. Now, I know with Instagram, it's turned sideways. But what's so cool about Instagram, you can turn the phone sideways and it looks fine. If you're watching Instagram on the computer, <laughs> not going to work for you. You have to jump over to YouTube or Facebook. I want to say hi to YouTube people. I'm sorry that you can't comment. But uh, at least you can see it. I appreciate it. I just had some, I had some really inappropriate trolling going on, and I didn't want the kids or my uh, students exposed to that. So we just cut off the comments. But thanks for watching me on YouTube. I seem to get a uh, couple hundred uh, viewers drawing with me per lesson, so that's wonderful. I'd love to get all you guys drawing. If you're on YouTube, please follow, like, share. If you're on Facebook, please uh, follow, please uh, I'm, I can't accept any more friends. I'm maxed out on friends. So, but um, um, I think I guess they have that limit of 5,000. And, um, but you can follow me on uh, uh, Facebook and like it and share it. Would you share the link, you guys? Would you share the YouTube link? Share the Instagram link? Mike, I want to get, I want to get the whole world drawing. I want to get the whole, so same thing I've been doing since 1980s, since I was on that PBS TV series way back in the 1980s. I did the old show called The Secret City with Commander Mark. Then the 1990s, I did the Imagination Station PBS series right there. It's very, very cool. All right, so now I'm going to start darkening in the detail. Let's darken in these, these dinosaur eggs here. And these dinosaur on this one, I'm going to give this one some spots. I'm going to put some a big spot and some small spots. See, I'll put little groups. I'm going to put some little spots on this guy. So I'll put some some little spots. And then we'll make these like Easter eggs up here, right? Different decorations. So then on this egg back here, this egg, I'm going to give this egg some stars. Look at this. This egg has some stars on it. Isn't that funny? Look at this. I'm, I'm, I'm putting stars on that one. So this one's going to have stars. Definitely a very Sioux style. This is almost like the uh, those books. The I'm thinking of the the uh, star star bellied snitch niches. Remember that book? Isn't that fun? And then over here on this one, I'm going to put some curves, some some stripes, some Easter egg stripes here. Put some stripes on this one. I just love the variety. I love having these adding different uh, texture and design. Isn't that wonderful. So we're adding a few little variations. Just what well, just what you can do with your pencil and paper. Now, if you have color, of course you can add color. It'd be wonderful. I'm partial just to a just to the pure pencil drawing. I've been drawing with pencil for forty years. I've airbrushed and watercolored and oil painted and used color. But I just always always come back to the joy of pencil drawing. Okay, let's do this here. Let's shade down here. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of grass at the bottom of the egg. Put a little bit of texture. How you doing on Zoom, you guys? How you doing on Zoom? You guys with me? Take, take a break. Time. Hey, let's do a, a quick art gallery view. Let's do a round robin. Melody, can you share the students' artwork? You, you students on Zoom, hold up your drawing. I love on Zoom. I love being able to 
to see your drawings on Zoom. And if any of you on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram want to join us on Zoom, go to my go to my uh, website and sign up for draw3d.com and you could be on Zoom with us. I love I love seeing your artwork. Good job, Matthew. Good Mateo. Good to see you, Mateo. Mateo Mateo, you know your pictures in my book and so are you, Matthew. You guys are in my You Can Draw in 30 Seconds book, your pictures. Nina. Hi, Nina. Hi, Dylan. All right. Good job, you guys. I love it. I love seeing your artwork. I love it. Okay. One more sip of decaf coffee. And let's get back down to our egg, our drooping egg. Droop. Now, draw the drooping grass. This is the fun part. See, I'm just going to put some grass drooping over the edge. Put some grass. And then we'll put just little, this, see, it's all uh, uneven, it's jagged, it just has a lot of character to it, okay? And then the wrinkles here to make it look like a cliff's edge, I'm going to offset that wrinkle. Coming down here, and I just push really hard on my pencil so I, it makes it look like it's ink there, right? Now, underneath, I'll put the shadow first. Let's go underneath here, and let's get a dark shadow, Let's get a dark shadow in between those, uh, the the edges. We'll pull. We'll, this will pull that near fold of the cliff towards you and push that other one back behind you. And then I'm going to darken and look at darken underneath the edges here. Darken underneath there. Isn't that wonderful, you guys? Do you love it? Love it? Love it? I love it. I love it, love it. And get lighter as it goes across. Isn't that cool? So we're just adding the shading now, and the shading will help. See, the shading on dark on. See, I have my light coming from up here. The light's coming from the top right. The light's coming down from the top right, so I'm shading all the areas underneath here in a way. See that? Underneath there. Underneath here. Put the shadow on the ground. Here, I'm gonna put the put that shadow. Oh, I love it! Nice job on our first drawing, you guys, and thank you on Zoom, Nate, Nate, Nina, and Mateo, and Matthew, and Dylan, and Oliver, and Melody. Thank you so much for for sharing your artwork. All right, let's go to the next drawing for our excellent expedition. All the all, everything to do with the eggs. I'm gonna have this egg slanting back right here, and this drawing is. Uh, I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do uh, one drawing will be from this book right here. Now, Melody, let me know. Let me know if this was uh, uh, if this if this one is in. You can draw in thirty seconds in some form, but this one I'm, I think it's uh, under E. Let's see if it's under E. It's under egg yolk, I believe. Early Egyptians. Uh, oh, it's under Y for yolk. So let's see. This this is a fun book. If you don't have it, it's on Amazon.com. Uh, y, Z, Y, Y, Y. It has to be under yolk. There it is. The yellow yolk. We're going to do a whole line of these, these yolks right here. And then... Um, now... The, the dancing egg is what I want to do right now. And this is another one of my books, Imagination Station. And uh, I don't know if it's in this one or not. I just, I'm trying to remember what book is it in. And I don't think it's in that one. Um, what book? Let's see here. I'm going to find it. I, I don't think it's in Cartoon Animals, but I'll look real quick. There's, ooh, cool hammerhead shark. So I look at the front. Nice fish. And I look at the front here. I see I look at what's inside, and it's not in that one. All right. Let's look at Monsters and Creatures. Now, these are all uh, available on uh, Draw 3D. Uh, we're going to be doing something. Well, the Mummy Man. You see the Mummy Man? It's kind of a combination of a few of these. But uh, it's like the Gingerbread Man and the Mummy Man put together here. Let's do the page. I'll show you. Page 20. This is a good lesson here. So there's the mummy man, right? Do you see the mummy man? And then the gingerbread man is this one. See with the foot coming off here? Can you guys see that? The gingerbread man. 
So these these uh, are good inspirations. They're good idea starters to kickstart your drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this this egg. He's going to be leaning back, taking a big step here. So so uh, I want to move this further back. No stress. I made a mistake. No problem. Just erase it. Stress is on the bus, you guys. No stress. Beep, 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 beep. Stress is on the bus. No problem. I'm just going to, I want to put it back just a little bit further back here. So I'm going to draw the egg shape. So let's draw this egg shape here. Sketch, sketch, sketch. Let's sketch it real lightly here. Sketch, sketch, sketch. Sketch, 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 sketch. Get my, get my camera all positioned here. All right. Good job on that one. And I'm going to zoom this camera in here. This is so much fun having all these cameras trying to figure them out. All right, so now this one, I'm going to put a foreshortened circle here, and I'm going to have the eggs, his foot, he's going to be taking one step. You see, so I'm going to have him leaning back. All right? He's going to be leaning back, and I'm going to put, I've got to plug in the power so that my phone on Instagram won't uh, lose power. All right, now watch this. Don't go straight across. Well, hey, good morning. There's my son, Mario. He's alive. My teenager, my 19-year-old is awake for the world. You uh, put all your stuff on the table down there. How are you doing? Yeah? You want, You ready for your eye drop? All right, you start, bring up the first one, and I'll just do it right live. I'll do your, we'll do Mario's glaucoma eye treatment live in front of the world. How you feeling? Did you sleep good? I, I sure uh, sure glad to see you, son. I love you, bud. Hey, I, I talked to the lawnmower company this morning, and they told me how to fix it. I just put too much oil in it. I just They told me how to drain the oil, so I'll be able to fix it right after our live. Mario got this uh, awesome commercial-grade snapper lawnmower, and he's so excited to use his lawnmower. All right, here, curve the bottom. This is contour. And then, now watch this. I'm going to have him taking a step here. So he, now this gets larger as it comes towards you. This is size, you see. The egg gets larger as it comes towards you, the foot. And then draw that foreshortened circle. That was just like that foot of the gingerbread man and also the foot of the mummy. Now erase your extra lines right here. Have your dusting brush. Our egg is taking one small step. Here, uh, here, the the joke about the egg. It's a good yolk. Ha 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 ha! I love all the puns you can make with the eggs. I love the egg puns. Uh, one small step for egg. One big step for omelets. Now I'm going to put a shadow. Now watch this. Remember our drawing direction compass. Remember this line right here. The drawing direction compass. This is a very, very uh, helpful, handy. This is a very, very helpful, handy chart in the back of my You Can Draw in 30 Second book here. I hope you guys uh, have have a copy of this. If you look at the back of the book, you see that there's the, these charts, right? You have the Drawing Direction Compass. You have the 12 Renaissance Words of Drawing. You have the, the 99 Pencil Power Level right here. The way to get this book, you can't get this one on Amazon. You've got to go to my website at markkissler.com and order it. No matter which book you buy, you guys, I'm going to autograph. I autograph all books this month. Just make sure that you make a comment. Make sure that you make a comment who you want me to autograph it to. Because some, uh, like some of the parents are buying it for their kids, but then I autograph it and put do it to the parents because that's the name that's on the order. And... So I'm, I autograph every book. Just assume I'm going to autograph it and make sure you put a little note saying, hey, please autograph to Sarah or please autograph to Matthew or please autograph to Mateo. And I put a shadow here. And Melody, I have all of your books to pile. I just have to box them up, Melody. I just got to box them up for you. They're coming. And put this, put this down here. Look at that shadow. Do you love it? Do you love it? Melody is my co co host, my assistant out there. Uh, she and her husband live in Northern California, and she comes on for over a year helping me tech check and make sure all the kids are engaged and the, everything's working. 
Thank you, Melodies. I have enjoyed you being with us for over a year of your help. And you get a lifetime supply of books and DVDs and art prints and uh, boxes of chocolate or whatever. Remember, what did I send you at Christmas? We sent you, a, my uh, Mario and I sent you a, uh, a, I can't remember, a fruit basket or something. What You know, what I would wish, that, I wish there were beignets. I bet you would love some beignets. From, they're from New Orleans, a box of beignets. All right. That's I've been thinking a lot about beignets lately. Draw a four shortened circle right here and angle it down. And it, I see I have one of my my families from India on on Instagram. Uh, 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 hello to to uh, to my uh, Anon family in uh, New Delhi. My heart goes out to all of you guys. I know you guys are are in severe uh, restricted movement and lockdowns all over and dealing with the the the, uh, the covid surge out there we love you i love you guys um give me a call after the webcast i want to check in on you and how how papa and mama are doing love all you all of my my indian brother and sisters out there um and also the in brazil and all well just all the all the all the whole world but I have my my friends in Brazil from Sao Paulo on on here on Instagram and uh, Lisa Wiling and her family and bless you guys. Stay safe, okay? Draw the four short in circle. Hey man, I, I in solidarity. I'm I'm wearing my mask and Mario's wearing his mask and we got vaccinated and we're still social distancing and. Uh, uh, we just we love you guys down there. Thank you for taking the time to join us here on Instagram. If you're on Instagram and you want to get other families to draw with this, guys, share it and friend it. Like me on Instagram. My son wants me to have fifty thousand followers on Instagram. <laughs> for some reason, he's saying that it means I'm really cool if I have fifty thousand. I have five thousand, so help me get fifty thousand. So share it, like it. I guess you. What do you do? Like it or follow it or friend it? I'm not quite sure how that works. I just know that I have to turn my phone sideways when I'm doing a live webcast here. Oh, there's another a uh, bunch of more people to send waves to. I'm just waving to everybody on Instagram that I see. Look at all these wonderful people. Hello, groups. Good to see you. Hello, Bakita. Bakita. Uh, uh, good to see you. I believe you're you're my uh, uh, folks. Uh, from overseas. Thanks for drawing. Now look at this is another egg drawing. The egg we're drawing eggs expedition. So now watch this. This is size. This arm is larger, and this arm is smaller. See this? It's waving. It's like hello, mama. You see, look, use the visual logic where the egg is, and this egg is further away. And this are, this leg is coming towards you, so that size, one of those 12 Renaissance words. And also, we're using drawing direction. The shadow comes down in direction southwest, so that that is very handy. And here's the words. Now, if you want to get these charts, these three charts are free. You go to draw3d.com, okay? Go to printables. You can print the chart for free. If you want to extend your membership that you currently have, or if you want to buy a new membership, there's my half-off code, Kistler50. So it's uh, half-off right now. Now, I hope you're enjoying drawing with me on these Hour of Pencil Power. On uh, I've been going 11 o'clock every day Central Time, noon every day Eastern Time. Uh, this the last month, I'm going to go, I'm going to do, what, do these all the way through May. I'll be doing these... Uh, Free hour pencil powers through May. On Mondays, we do Mighty Mondays, right? So on Mondays, we draw at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Oh, there he is. You ready for your drop? All right. <sighs> Come on over here. You want to pull your chair around so you can sit here and I'll give you a drop. He's 
He's my he's my superhero lawn lawnmower guy. I bet you're happy about we're gonna get that fixed. We just have to drain off. I I put too much oil in. That was the I put too. The, it was already ready. It was already ready. So we just have to we have to drain the got to drain the oil out. All right. Put it in, huh? Yeah, just scoot on in here. They already put it in. Yeah, they told me, huh? They already put it in. Yeah, they had already put it in. Okay, scoot toward me here. All right, a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. All right, get you your eye drop right here on live television. Get your other eye. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes for your next drop. Hmm. Still about the other lawnmower. Oh, yeah, yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna deliver that one at the end of the week. Put it in line. They have a big lineup for for tune-ups. Okay. All right, so there's the egg. There's a the guy. He's like, yeah, who? Here, let's have let, let's have this guy going. Yeah, who? See, so I put I put the action line. Good job, Momo. There's the baby. He's waking up. He's he's teetering. Learning to walk. All right. And our next one, let's let's do the the egg yolks, the expedition. So I'm gonna draw I'm gonna draw this yolk, this big yolk right here. All right, I'm gonna draw a big egg yolk, draw the curve. Now don't go straight across and curve the bottom contour, curve the bottom. Now Melody was saying that on the text for the zoom. That she's almost on one year with her draw 3D. Well, Melody, oh, there's Flash over my shoulder. Hi, buddy. There's our kitty cat. Okay, you guys can see on the camera. Hello, Flash. Hi, Flash. There's Flash. You guys see him on the camera? You get there. He is. Yeah. Well, I'll get out of the way. Look at Flash. We love Flash. We love Flash. Okay. Put and Gordon. Where's Gordon? Yeah, all right. That's what's fun about doing these. It looks like a really cool professional studio, and it's in. It's I've turned a converted a room into my webcast studio, so we can have the cats and we have Mario popping in the background every now and then. All right, now look at put a dot here and a dot here. Now what I'm going to put a four short and circle. See that looks like a hat, but I'm going to do the same thing as I did up here. I'm going to put that extra little four short and loop coming out here. So. Let me zoom this in. I want to I want to move this uh, zoom this out just a little bit here. And then this one I'm going to zoom this one in just a bit. And I'm going to pull that there. Now. So what I want to do is I want to line these these egg yolks up going way back in the distance. So I, I used my drawing direction compass. Okay, so I this is the one I used here. I used going northeast and southeast. See, I used these guidelines to draw the direction of this, the, the trail. And the closest image that I have to this one in my book, this is, a, this is a really good example. I always love to refer to my You Can Draw in 30 Seconds book because I really do believe it's, it's my most comprehensive, best book I've ever written. Really, really enjoy it. Um, I'm just so glad to, that I can have it to share with you guys. Let me see if I have the pictures of all you guys on here. Look at this. And I always have Zoom pictures. Um, here's one. See the roadway, how the roadway for the castle. You see how this this is a nice example of the foreshorten. And also now I want to show you the 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 uh, this one right here. You see how the archways go back? They wind back, get smaller and smaller and smaller. And then this level right here, which is real, real important right here. You see that we're going to be doing that with the egg yolks. It's it's larger in the front, and it gets smaller as it moves away. So this egg yolk here, I'm going to I'm going to pull it out just a bit like I did with that with the cliff, and I'm going to draw. I'm going to darken. I guess I'll do one. I'll do one in detail. Pretty good here. I'll do one in detail, and then we'll do one. Uh, then we'll just do a whole a whole row of them. So let's draw that egg yolk. Then we'll draw the egg white down here. See, darken it in, foreshortening, squish and distort. Now I'm going to put a little shadow. Put a little shadow under that yolk. Put a little shadow. 
And this is the expedition. This is like alien egg yolks. They're on the march. They're marching. Let's use your eraser, clean up the extra lines. And we're not going to need that center line here, are we? So use your uh, pencil. Then we're going to shade. Take your pencil. Now this is a round, curved object. This is round, round and curved. So it's going to be blended on us. Round objects, remember, you always blend the round objects and you get lighter as it goes across. On square objects, you do a solid tone. See, on square objects, you do a solid tone. Uh, there's Mario. There's Gordon the kitty cat. There's Gordon. There's Gordon. Hi, Gordon. Hello, Gordon. There's Gordon. Hi. Hello, Is he clawing you right there? He's, no. they're, they're, they're indoor outdoor cats, so they got sharp claws. No, he's purring. Is he purring? There's Gordon. Hello, Gordon. So I'm going to do another... Another egg yolk back here. Thank you for having Gordon and Flash do cameo appearances on our... Here, look, at I'm going to draw this. Another egg yolk right here. Look, at I'm going to... Well, this will be our second one, right? Put in a second one. Then I'm going to put a third one over here. It gets smaller. Look at like, the cat for... I see the cat for floating now, and I'm going to start sneezing in about two seconds. So then I'll put... See, I, I'm going to try to change the... The, the egg yolk just a bit, the, the trail. So there it is. Now, now I'm going to have them turn. I'm going to put a... Look, at they're getting smaller and smaller as they move away. They're getting smaller and smaller. There's there's another one. So you get smaller, and then I'll put another one. Getting smaller. Another smaller one back here, and then look at the... Turning the corner back here. Another smaller one. And then another smaller one back here. You know what? Maybe I'll just maybe I'll have them get keep going, keep going back here on another trail. Look at what do you think, you guys? Look at that! Look how far back I have them going. I'm following those guidelines. So then we'll take our pencil and we'll darken it in. You darken it in. Look at that! Isn't that cool? Hey, Melody, should we try something? Should we try an experiment? Should we just have this class go right into the twelve o'clock class? Should we just keep it going? We'll do like for, uh, what do you think, Melody? Where are you? I don't see you up there on this screen. What do you guys think on Instagram and Facebook? I wonder how long I can go. I, I think Instagram has a limit. I think Instagram will, will shut off after a, a, a bit. I'm not sure. Does anybody know on Instagram? Is there an hour limit on Instagram? I'm wondering. I might have to start Instagram, uh, do one more, but I think I'll let Facebook and YouTube and Zoom, I think I'm just going to run right into the, I think I'm just going to go, we'll do like a two-hour special. We'll, we'll have the 10 o'clock class merge right into the, into the, the noon, the 11 o'clock class. Let's try that. Let's try that little experiment here. Look at that. All right, so we have all the the eggs. And oh, so we have a 1 hour limit on Instagram. So I will after I guess I'll I'll end Instagram and then start it again, but I'll let the YouTube and the Facebook run. We'll just let it run. It'll be too I guess we're going to have to do it all themed. It'll be all eggs. It's going to be the the uh all the eggs. So we'll have to do opera egg. Remember opera egg? I gotta find opera egg in the in my uh, book. Do you know what what uh, week opera egg is, Melody, from the Fine Arts Academy? I know we did it once before. It's such a great one. I want to do the the eggs, the opera eggs singing la 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 la. So I, I'm going to make a list here. So we're going to draw opera egg for the next hour. I'll do opera egg. And I'll do the egg, the little egg, the little egglet, the little egglet and opera egg. And maybe we should, should we do, uh, should we do super egg? Super egg standing with the, his cape flapping. Super egg. We'll make one up here. 
All right, so I like. I think this one was just a wonderful lesson. Isn't that fun? Do you love it? Love it? Love it? I love it. So what a we have. Uh, we have about. Let me see here. About two, six minutes for this one. I have time for one more drawing over here. So, um, since we're doing everything eggs on this one, let's draw. Let's see here. Why don't we do uh, eggs popping out of uh, uh, the hole here? So I'm going to draw some holes. So I'm going to watch this. I'm going to draw a hole here. I'm going to draw a hole here, and I'll put a little uh, this hole smaller as it moves away. And this hole smaller as it moves away. And then this hole back here, look, it's even smaller still as it moves as, as it moves back, it moves further away. Looking cool. Now we're just filling up the page. I just loved filling up a whole sketchbook page here. So this egg, I'm gonna put the thickness on these holes. Here's I'm gonna make one hole. Look at this hole so close it's off the edge of the paper. And I'll put that thickness on the top. And I'll put the thickness here on the top. And I'll put the thickness here on the top. Draw that thickness here. Uh, Mario, Tony said that he wished you were closer so that you could mow his lawn. Yeah, I have the most well-manicured lawns in all of Texas. All right, so we're going to draw these eggs here. I'm going to draw one egg here looking out, and I'll draw another egg over here looking out, and this guy, you can barely see the top of that egg, and you can see that egg, and you can see that egg, See how you can see all these eggs popping out here, so before I darken them in, I'm going to erase where those eggs are overlapping, so I erase the, the hidden, the lines that are covered, and I'll Use my dust brush and clean that up. An excellent expedition. So this guy's eight. So here's his eyes. He's looking out. And one eye's tucked underneath there. And he's kind of taking his little peekaboo here. He's doing a little peekaboo here. And here he is. And then we'll darken in. We'll darken in that uh, background. See. We'll darken in that background. All right, so there's one egg, and I'm going to put the other egg. There's his eye, but I want his eyes to be uh, hidden by part of the... So what I'll do is I'll draw the eyes, and I know that the, the edge is going to cover. See, it overlaps, and so then I'll erase that bottom part. See that? So there's this egg. He's looking out. And I made those eyes pretty much too big, but that's all right. Stress is on the bus. No stress, no concern. Just drawing, just enjoy it. Shameless plug for my summer art camps, you guys. I certainly hope that you go to my website, check out which week you want. I have lots of time zones. Check them out. Check them out, check them out. And then shade. All right, dark inside here and get lighter as it comes across. Dark inside here and it gets lighter. Dark down here and it gets lighter. All right. All right, so let's draw this near eye and this eye gets smaller as it moves away. There you go. Draw those eyes. Look at our little eggs. Look at our little eggs of the great, excellent expedition. The extraordinary, ex the exceptional, the ex extraordinary. I'm going to put these eyes tucked back there. Does that look good? You guys enjoying it? Are you having fun? All right.
Wow, we're just wrapping up this one right here. Let's do one more student art gallery, Melody. Let's do one more student art gallery. One more. We're going to do a, a, a round robin. Kids, if you're on Zoom, hold up all your drawings so we can see your drawings. So, Nina, hold up your drawings. There's Melody's egg. There's Matthew's egg, Expedition. And hi, Nina. Your backyard is in full spring blossom, I tell you. Hi, Mateo. Hi, Oliver. Yeah, what about Kelsey? Do you want to get Kelsey's drawing, or she's just logging in for the next group? Well, all right, guys. Well, uh, that finishes our, our Zoom class. Let's put the, for this one. Uh, let, me, let me write the title. Don't end the recording yet, Melody. Uh, let's put the title. And this is uh, the end. Of, no, this is the beginning of week 37. Mark Kistler's daily live Zoom. Yay. And this is Mighty Mondays. Mighty Mondays for my Draw 3D family. And we're going to do another lesson right away, right? immediately after following this one. Mighty Mondays, and it is our 10 a.m. class. And this is our Fine Arts Academy, week 37. Week 37 of 41, right? I Now, we'll see if that's accurate. I've been saying 41 weeks for 37 weeks, so we'll see if that's right. And the date today is April 26, 2001. On Instagram, uh, Melody, go ahead and uh, Melody, go ahead and save that recording. And I'm going to save it on uh, Instagram here because we have a limit for you guys on Facebook and on YouTube. By Instagram, I'm going to be logging right back in. So for you guys on. YouTube and on Facebook. Stay tuned. I'm just going to go right into my next class if you guys want to draw some more excellent expeditions. Let's see here. I want to share. Let's see. What does this guy look like? I got to get a good image. Oh, that's a good one. I got to save it on Instagram real quick. Uh, let's draw. Let's draw excellent expedition. Expedition. Let's draw excellent expedition. I'll add it to the series. And this series is going to be you can draw in 30 seconds. Done. And I'll post it. All right. We're posted on Instagram. You guys read? How many of you are staying for our next hour? You guys, anybody staying for one more hour? We're gonna we're gonna draw we're gonna draw some really cool, um, some more cool drawings here. You guys, look at they want to see something cool? I found this on Instagram. Look at this image. I don't even know who the artist is. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that an awesome drawing. I love I love the artwork I see on Instagram. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. All right. Um, let's go back and let's get the next one started. Let's go live. And I'll turn it sideways. Turn it sideways here. And if you're ready... I always have to move the camera around, just adjust it here and there. And let's see if that one's going to look okay. That's okay. All right, we are live on Instagram. Uh, Melody, you want to let the other people in and we'll start recording. In about a minute for our next session. For you guys on YouTube and Facebook, thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, did I wrote the date of 2001? 
Oh. Oh, oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. It's supposed to be 21. That's right. Oops. 21. Oops. Thank you, you guys. Checking out, keeping me on track here. 2021. Thank you, Richard Verdi. Hey, Ben Jepson. Ben's mom. Hi, how are you? Get off the phone. I'm joking. I'm joking. You stay on the phone. You guys chit chat. We haven't started officially yet. All right, guys, take another sip of my decaf coffee. We're getting ready for a second hour. This is, it all started from one drawing. I was looking through this old journal. In fact, once you start the recording, Melody, let's start the recording and uh, in the Zoom. Hi, Ben. Hi, Isaac. Isaac. Hello, Isaac. Hey, Isaac. Hi, Isaac's mom. You guys are cool. Now, this all started from one drawing from, I was looking through this old journal. I used to see these, these old sketchbooks from uh, just drawings, all kinds of old sketches and noodles and doodles. Oh, look at, look at the marshmallow pig. That's cute. Isn't that cute? Look at the marshmallows in a flying saucer. Oh, these are so cute. You guys want to draw marshmallows? Look at the marshmallows alien with big feet. Oh, these are some cool ones. You guys... Do you guys want to draw? Would you want to draw more eggs, expedition, or you want to draw the marshmallow monster, a marshmallow piggy, and a marshmallow in a in a spaceship, and a marshmallow in a car, um, maybe a marshmallow little marshmallow fishy? Do you guys want to do marshmallows, or you want to do more eggs? Isaac, what do you want to do? You want to do marshmallows or eggs? It's up to you guys. It's up to the Zoom. Well, hey, look at we got the groups back on Instagram. Hi, guys. What are we gonna draw? All right, so it looks like it looks like we're getting votes for marshmallows. Now, uh, before I get any further, this was the last hour. Now, over the weekend, I did a three-hour art immersion. I did my third one, and these these are ninety-nine dollar art immersions here, and. Uh, this weekend I did it on, on half off. So it was like $49 per family and it was three hours. Let me show you what we did for three hours. That was one of the pages we did. And then that was another page we did three hours. You guys of on Saturday and you could watch this recording three hours. You guys can purchase the recording for only $19, $19.90, $20. It's 1995 for 20 bucks. You can have all these three hours of instruction. We get into the science of drawing. It's a wonderful three hours. And you can pick any of them, all, all my past ones. So basically, you can get, uh, for $20 for each session, you get my February three hours, my March three hours, and my uh, April three hours. Very cool. Uh, also, before I start for our second hour, Remember, I have 14 weeks coming up. We're going to be doing on the summer art camps, 14 weeks of Zoom virtual summer camps. You go to my website to sign up at markkistler.com. All right. Now, these Mighty Mondays will go through the end of May. Now, starting in June, July, and August, I don't do Mighty Mondays or we don't do Fine Arts Academy. We take the summer break because I'm going to be doing... Summer art camps all summer. I hope you guys sign up for them. They're going to be uh, really cool. Uh, uh, Richard is helping me sp say his name. Yerardi. Yerardi. Okay, Richard Yerardi. Thank you. Also, I want to show you real quick for all you guys out here. This is a new art piece that was created by uh, Michael uh, Culiner Culerno. Michael Culinero. Now he donated twenty of these to my nonprofit, and I'm selling them on my website. Isn't that wonderful? Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see it. It's the um, um, Mount Rushmore, the i the four icons of 1980s PBS. I have some people saying that they're missing. Uh, he's missing Steve Irwin, and I'll have to agree with that. Uh, but there I am up there with Mr. Rogers, LeVar Burton, and Bob Ross. Isn't that awesome? So uh, my show was on usually uh, right on or, uh, before Bob Ross's in the morning. 
And uh, by the way, you can get, you can order a print. I'll autograph it. I'll sign the print, do a little autograph on top for you. And there's the prints are at my website and they benefit my nonprofit to give scholarships to kids around the world from my virtual summer art camps. So go to my website right there at the bottom of the page, markkissa.com, if you want to order one of those 19, Mount Rushmore 1980s icons. All right, well, that's what we did last hour. This hour, it looks like we're going to be drawing the marshmallows. Uh, uh, marshmallows and the eggs together. All right. Well, so it looks like we're going to draw the that marshmallow guy because I saw that, and it just it just looks so cool. I'm going to draw the little marshmallow piggy and the marshmallow fish. So we'll just do a bunch of little marshmallow guys here. So put a dot, draw the middle line here. Now, what we'll start with is we'll do a crowd of marshmallows, and that kind of reminds me of this drawing right here. These kind of look like a crowd of marshmallows, a little alien. Push the tip of your nose, right? Push the tip of your nose. Get push your genius. Everybody, push your genius. Push the tip of your nose. Push your genius button. There we go. And uh, that's right. I see Isaac pushing. Now, don't pick your nose, you cool, crazy cats. No nose picking. That's disgusting. Funny. Funny, but disgusting. <laughs> All right, so we're going to draw four squares, and let's start with the crowd of marshmallows. So we'll start. Oh, ooh, I got a good one for the marshmallows. Here, this is good. If you go to my book, you can draw in 30 seconds. My best book that I've ever written. Woo, out of all my 14, 12, 14, 15 books. Um, now I got to find it. Where's that one with all the marshmallows marching it's with the feet? Okay, I got to find it here. It's one of the bonuses. Wait a minute. I got to find it. Melody, and every anybody who has a book, find the guys. Find the marshmallows marching. There's so many drawings in this book. There's just so, so it's so content rich. Let's see here. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at the, the, the plant eater. But I got to find, I got to find the, where's those feet? There, there they are. Look at the marshmallows. We're going to draw that. That's what we're going to draw right now. Isn't that awesome? The Hour of Pencil Power. We're going to draw the marching marshmallows. That's going to be cool. So I'm going to draw. So up here, I'm going to put the horizon line. I'll put a horizon line at the top. This is a little one-point perspective exercise, too. I think you guys will like this. A little one-point perspective. Put a dot right here. That's where all the marshmallows are going to line up, too. And we'll put, I'm just going to put rows. Put rows, all the marshmallows will line up. They're all gonna they're gonna be marching to that down this this long road. All right. So I'll start with the this near marshmallow is gonna be huge right here. I'm gonna draw a foreshortened circle. This really big foreshortened circle. And then draw a vertical line. So that'll be see it's gonna go off the page here. And then this one. Now, right here, look at this one. Look how big this guy is. This four shortened circle. Vertical line, vertical line goes off the paper. So we're drawing the, the near or the near marshmallows here. So just like remember we were drawing those eyes of the the uh eggs that were coming off. So the marshmallow is gonna be so low, so close to you in the paper so close to you that it uh you see it's going off the edge there so this one see the eyes the eyes go out of the square i mean i always put reflections reflections help your drawing they help create the direction your character's looking and helps make your drawing look cool there's size and then over here i think i'll put i'll put this marshmallow He's kind of coming off, he's off the edge here. And then I'll put his his eyes down here in the corner. And you just barely see, you barely see his pupil. All right, so we have our first three marshmallows. Now, looking at our source, I want to do this this whole row of marshmallows. And this is from, this is from our, my book, You Can Draw in 30 Seconds. It's a fantastic book. If you want to order, which I hope you do, I hope you will hope I hope you do. Thank you for your, 
Thank you for your uh, purchases and your support. Attitude of gratitude. Thank you. I love you guys. Mwah. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's put another. This marshmallow is going to be smaller. And then this one's smaller and smaller and smaller. And this one, look at this. Smaller, 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 smaller. And this one. This one, see this one? I, I, I'm going to redraw those lines here. So that we know that that one's going to be smaller, 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 smaller. See, just this whole row. And then I'll draw the vertical lines. See, you put all the vertical lines of the marshmallows. Isn't that cool, you guys, how they just keep going back into the distance? Do you love it? Someone hey, type in the chat box. Do you love it, love it, love it? Oh, look it, we have... Uh, Kristen, we have Daniel, we have An An Angelica Hoan, and we have Pickett. Hello, Pickett. And we have uh, Palapolo22222 on Instagram. On Facebook, we have Richard, and we have John Black, and William. Who else do we have on Facebook? Send me a comment. Also, you guys, send me where you're, where you're from. I love... Uh, Especially on Instagram. On Instagram, in the earlier lesson, I had my friends from New Delhi on. I had my friends from Sao Paulo. Uh, we have Omar. Hey, Omar. How are you? Glad you came on to Instagram. Send me a text. Where are you on? Where are you from? What country? What country? I just love having all these, these states and countries on here. I keep a list. Where are you guys from? All right. So I'm going to darken these marshmallows in boy we we we'd kind of changed this whole theme real fast i was going to do this opera eggs but now i'm drawing marshmallows that's how fast your ideas can change that's how fast your drawing destiny can change as a snap of a finger so i'm just going to take my time and draw each of these marshmallows and then i'm going to shade them these are all blended. See, this is a, a round object as compared to... Now, let me show you something of a square. Let me show you the difference. This is a great uh, uh, great illustration of... Now, this one was... Uh, we're doing a crowd of marshmallows. This was a crowd of boxes with a little kitty cat back here. But see all the boxes? See how the boxes have a solid value? And we're going to blend the shading on, on the marching marshmallows. See that? Isn't that cool? Hey, we have uh, we have Carol thirteen forty six on here, and we have Carol from Washington State, uh, and she watched me when she was a kid. With her, now she's watching with her son. She's thirty one now. Well, thank you, thirty one year old Carol from Washington State, watching on Instagram. I hope you guys sign up for my summer art camps. That's a good good transition to my. Shameless plug, my Zoom virtual summer art camps. Yay! Go to my website at markkessler.com. Pick a week, pick any week. Now, today, what this is, this is my Mighty Mondays today. Right now, I am I drive for the through this month and next month. Every uh September through May, I do Mighty Mondays, which is live on Zoom for my Fine Arts Academy, for my Draw 3D families. 10 o'clock in the morning central time, 11 o'clock in the morning central time, 4 o'clock in the afternoon after school, and 6.30 at night for for families and parents wanting a drawing creative date night. We have a lot of adults on that one. Here's a 50% off code if you want to extend your membership or if you want a new membership. It's $200 a year for the families. Right now you get it for $99. There's Use that code for the one year. It's a wonderful membership. Now, just just so you know, full disclosure, these Mighty Mondays uh, end um, at the end of May. They take a summer break because I do my summer art camps. And then they pick up again September through May. All right. But I'm just so glad that you guys are joining us. Now, I'm just doing something special. Uh, just something special. I just discovered how to simulcast on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook, so I'm so I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going live um, 
on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So thank you for joining me if you're joining me on one of those. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be doing these live on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Facebook every day at 11 o'clock Central Time through the month of May, <laughs> uh, Monday through Friday. <clears throat> Just a summer art camp promotion. Give you guys some fun, creative time. And I hope, I hope, I wish I want, I hope that you all decide to sign up for Draw3D.com and you all decide to uh, do my summer art camp. And here I have this, uh, I got to find my little book. Pro Where's my book promotion? My, uh, my You Can Draw in 30 Seconds book here. Let me see if I, I don't have it. Oh, I usually have it right here. It's really cool. It's like this little cover, my You Can Draw in 30 Second book, mock-up cover. Well, it's right there on the screen. You can see it. You Can Draw in 30 Seconds. All right, let's get back to our marshmallows drawing. The marshmallows are marching. Here, shade the side down here. Put a shadow. Put a shadow down the side. Put a shadow down the side here. And... Well, one second here. Uh, got to got to check on on my son's eye drop. Hey, you knew I was coming out to do eye drop. Good job, Yeah, I'm back to back to my class here. Back on camera. Back on camera. Back on camera. All right. Oh, little sip of my my delicious decaf coffee. All right. Now, let's see. Uh. To, uh, William is starting a little a little chit chat on Facebook from Washington State. He's drawing a little Washington State drawing fan club. That's cool. All right, here, draw the eyes. You know, it was so amazing when I when I when I put this picture up on Facebook uh, uh, forty eight hours ago when I showed everybody this picture. We sold. Our first batch of donated lessons, we sold out. We sold 20 of these prints, and I have 20 more coming. So if you want to get them, they're, uh, or go order it from my website. And I'll sign it. I'll autograph it, and Michael Calerno will sign it too. Um, really cool. It's 11 by 17. It's a big print. So you draw all these little marshmallows back here. So if you want to get that print, you just send me an email. Or I mean, go to my website. You can order directly from my website. All right, well, there's there's our marshmallows. There's that horizon line. There's our marshmallows marching back to the distance. You know me. I like to put a little bit of a value back here. And then here's how, and in my book... My you can draw in 30 second book. You can draw in 30 seconds. Um, you can see how I put that background back behind there. See? That was a cool one. All right. So now on the square number two and it's in the next square right here, I want to draw. Uh, I'm gonna draw the use the drawing direction compass. Remember that these 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 angles that are so important. We're going to go up in direction northeast on our drawing direction compass. Remember, these are free. If you go to draw3d.com and you click printables, you can uh, print those charts up for free. Okay. Let's draw this little uh, little piggy guy. So draw the guideline going up here in direction what I call direction northeast. And I'll put the, the the nose of the piggy, the marshmallow. I'm going to turn the marshmallow on its side. And then I'm going to make it get smaller as it moves away from you. That size. And then I'll curve that little marshmallow. All right, so the marshmallow now is flipped over. 
Then I'm going to draw the little piggy's feet here. I'll draw a little marshmallow feet, curve that. That's the near foot right here, and the back foot lines up. The back foot's going to line up. It's a little smaller. See this? So you get this one. This one's a little bit smaller back here. And take your eraser and erase it. Now, I'm not going to be able to see the back foot at all. So I'm going to, for the ears, I'm going to put the marshmallow piggy's eye. There's the near eye. Then I'll overlap, tuck the other eye back behind there. And on this one, I'm going to zoom that in just a little bit. I'll zoom that one in too. Let's erase. Let's erase. Oh, look, we got some more people. We have Mr. Scruffy on Instagram. Uh, I'm going to wave to everybody that comes on Instagram. It's, uh, I'm going to try to keep up with it. On Facebook, look, at we have over 800,000. <laughs> no, we have eight. But over the course of about 24 hours, we'll have several hundred people. It's just awesome. On YouTube, on YouTube, hey, uh, uh, Melody, Mighty Melody, can, can you look at YouTube and see if we have uh, some viewers on YouTube? I always love that. I know YouTube, we usually get about 200 participants over the course of the day that will watch the recording. But I'm just curious how many are watching the live on YouTube because now we can't do the... Uh, here, let's put the ears. I'm going to slant the ears out here. If you're, uh, it's so nice to see you guys on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, this and thank you for all the nice comments here. Look at there's Mr. Scruffy coming back. Thank you. Draw the four short and circle. There's little, there's little marshmallow ears here. Now I'll curve that back ear. See that? Just everything is marshmallow. Looking good now. Now take your the pencil. Watch this. I'm going to shade the side. And I'm going to make the nostril. The near nostril is going to be larger. And the far nostril gets smaller. Those are those 12 Renaissance words. The near nostril is larger. And the back nostril is smaller. Isn't that cool? Draw that. Here, curve the end. Here, draw the little, the little piggy tail. Look at our little marshmallow pig. So now I'm going to have the the sun. I'm going to I'm keeping the sun over on this side. Look at I'll keep that. There's there's that horizon line. I'm going to put the sun up here. There's our sun shining bright. So wherever the light is, we shade opposite. Okay, so we know that the sun. Oh look, I had the sun right there where Draw 3D logo is. So there's the sun. So I'm going to shade on the right. I love it like how I made the, the sun right where the Draw 3D logo was on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So take your pencil and we'll shade the, the nose because it's away from the light source. So I'll put a value. Just take your time and enjoy it. The shading's the fun part. The shading's like the dessert, right? Let's shade here. And put a shade shade down the side. Isn't that cool? Do you love it, love it, love it? I love it. Now, we could do... Um, let's draw... There's so many cool drawings that we can do here. Um, let's do... Uh, I, I want to draw this. I'm not quite sure how... It's like a, a, a marshmallow, teetering marshmallow uh, hat. This will be cool. Um, maybe we'll put, I'm going to put a stack of marshmallows here. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to draw, I just kind of kind of want to do, do, do a funky stack. So I'm going to, I have it in my mind what I want to draw. It's kind of hard to verbally articulate it, but let's see if we can visually articulate it. I'll put one marshmallow slanty this way. And then I want to put a, a one marshmallow kind of slanting this way. So I'll slant the, the four short and circle down. And nope, not enough. I gotta I got I have to slant it more. See, I the, the marshmallow has to be slanting even more. So I gotta put the four short and circle slanting that way. 
And I don't need, didn't even slant it enough on that time. And curve the bottom. So this one, I'm really going to slant this one. I'm really going to going to get this one so it's teetering. You see, I want to do a stack. You see? What do you guys think of that? We're doing like a stack. Is that fun? All right, let's see if we have any more. Hello, Instagram. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. Hey, let's do a round robin art gallery. Let's do a round robin art gallery on... Uh, Let's do a round robin art gallery on Zoom. Let's see the students drawing. Look at there's Fox Kids. Hello, Fox Kids. Good to see you. I wish you guys on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube could see these. Nice job, Isaac. Hi, Nathaniel. Great to see you drawing with me. Oh, look at uh, Luca. Luca put the pig in a farm in a barn. There's Madeline. Hi, Una. Hey, look at Matthew stayed for a second hour. Dylan and Op, Dylan and Oliver are up there in Espen. Hi, Espen. Espen has her little puppy. Espen, he has his puppy. We got to get Dylan and Oliver up there, Melody. And we got to get Espen with the little baby puppy. Oh, my goodness, that's so cute. There's Dylan and Oliver. Let's see Espen's puppy. I want to see the puppy. Where's, look at that little, look at that little puppy. What is that, like two days old? Oh, that guy, that is just baby, baby, baby. So cute. Oh, how precious. Precious, precious. All right, come on back to my hand. And I'll put one more foreshortened circle down here on the ground. And I think I'm going to have these guys coming out of a hole in the ground. And I'm going to pop the hole open. I'm going to put the four shortened lid of the hole right here. I'm zoom this out just a bit so you can see what I'm doing. And I'll zoom this one in. So I'll put a little thickness here. This is a the the man the the manhole right. And I'll put that four shortened that I'll put that horizon line back there. And it's about five more minutes for the next drop right. About five more minutes. Hi, bud. Did you eat your burrito? Yeah. All right. Did you heat it up? Yeah. I hope so, because I laid it all frozen. <laughs> and, uh, hey, right after this, Mara, we're going to get your lawnmower working. We're going to dump that oil out. It's going to be awesome. Hey, uh, would the marshmallow pig taste like marshmallow, or would it taste like bacon? Funny. Funny, funny, funny. All right. Hey, Una's on uh, on my Facebook page, too, and on Zoom. Aren't you a multi-simulcasting participant, Una? Look at this. So we're going to draw. The, look at these. Now, this, I'm going to put his eyes looking this way. He's looking that way. These marshmallows are all teetering. It's the teetering marshmallow tower. Just see, I didn't I didn't know I was gonna draw this today. I was gonna be drawing all eggs, the egg opera eggs and the egg dinosaur. Ooh, we could we should draw we should draw the uh, the uh, marshmallow Tyrannosaurus Rex, thinking about it. There was I have this great picture of the marshmallow T Rex. Let me see if that's in the uh the you can draw in the you can draw in 30 seconds book here. It's one of the that would be a great one, a marshmallow dino, a, a marshmallow T-Rex, marshmallow dinosaur. This is blended shade. It gets lighter as it comes across. Our little stack here. And then th this eye's larger, and it gets smaller as it moves away. When I'm shading it, I'll go around the eye. I'll leave the eye light. I'll let the eye, and I'll put a little shadow here. I like that shadow. Then underneath here, I'll put a little shadow underneath the, dinosaur, the uh, marshmallow. You know, that far eye smaller. That's far eye smaller. Hey, we have Taggy Beck Beckbow on Instagram. Hello, Taggy Beckbow. Good to see you. Thanks for drawing with me. I know on Instagram my I turn my phone sideways so I get the I can get the whole image up there so you can draw it with me. And I know the audio isn't as perfect as it should be uh but thank you for listening um
Thanks so much. I know on Instagram it's not perfect, but thank you, thank you. On Facebook, I'm glad you're with me. On YouTube, I'm glad you're with me. On my Zoom Fine Arts Academy and Draw 3D, I'm glad you're with me. What a great way to start Monday off, huh? Get light as it comes up. All right, Melody, uh, Una, uh, Luca, you just your book just got shipped to you, so you don't have it yet. Try to find the Marshmallow T-Rex. Let's see that. I'm going to go to my book, and I want to look at some of these these uh, these um, embellishments. See, so this, it's all from the the uh, cylinder lesson. So I'm going to go through the embellishments. Oh, there's the pig flying. There's the marshmallow surfing the wave. Here's the marshmallow monster marching. But I'm looking for the marshmallow T-Rex. Ooh, the bat. That's a fun one. Bat marshmallow. That's a fun one. Lots of marshmallows here. And there's the marshmallow uh, robot. I'm not sure what I want to draw. Marshmallow robot or marshmallow bat? Marshmallow bat. I think we're going to draw... Let's draw a marshmallow bat. That's a cool one. That's a cool one. So let's take this one. I'm going to have the marshmallow bat here. I'm going to lean. I'm going to have it leaning that way. So I'm going to put my guideline, put a light angle here, and I just changed. I was going to do T Rex, but I saw the bat and go, "Ooh, I like the bat." So we'll draw the bat marshmallow. Draw the foreshortened circle. See this? I'm going to tilt that foreshortened circle down. And it gets, it's going to get smaller as it moves away from you. That size. Near things are, are, are larger. Near things are larger. And it gets smaller as it moves away from you. We'll draw the marshmallow bat. Like Batman, but bat marshmallow. All right. So I'm going to curve the mask of the marshmallow. That's contour at the top. And then I'll have the, the nose... I'll have the nose of his mask come down here. And then the marshmallow's ears, the bat ears, will go up on top, you see. And uh, so then I'm going to draw his the eyes. I'll do some, some slits up here at the top for his eyes. And then I'll darken that in. We'll take my pencil and I'll darken that in here. Darken that in. Are you ready for your uh, your next drop there, Mr. Mo? Yeah. Do you have it? It's blue, right? Yeah. All right, come on over. Mario, my son, he has glaucoma, and so he's blind in his, I uh, forget which eye, his uh, right eye. And what he can do with his left eye, I can't. I can't do the the lines that he creates in lawn mowing or vacuuming. I've tried. I can't do it. And I challenge you guys. Here, come over here, Mario, and put the chair over here. I want you on the camera. Mario can do more with one eye than ninety nine percent of the population can do with two eyes. And what does uh, what I've tried to do is, uh, and when we're growing up with his sister and and me, we'd put a bandana over one eye to try to experience what it was like to live through your day with only one eye vision. And we were bumping into doors and tripping on steps. And it's, it's really uh, amazing. And Mario, Mario can run up steps. He can shoot baskets, catch balls, mow lines. You're my hero. Yeah. Here, we'll go ahead and sit down. Oh, you got to go get it. Go, go get the blue drops and come on. Ask them if they have any people clean houses. For oh, Mario loves to lawn mow and clean houses. So if you're in Texas and you want to be on Mario's list for him to come clean your house uh, after COVID, we'll, uh, we'll do it. Even though we're vaccinated and all that, I still am being very, very cautious just to get, just to get the whole planet. I want to get the whole planet past this. I think everybody just be cautious and, you know, live life cautiously. That's all. All right, so here's Mario's. Come on, grab a seat, and I'll give you your drop. What did you say? What did they say? Huh? What did they say? What did oh, they say? I said, let's see. Let's see. Oh, we have uh, we have Kendall uh, Chickerson, and we have Blue897 on Instagram. Uh, Madeline said hi to Mario. 
here you go. I don't haven't got any responses. There's there's about a minute delay. All right. We ran out of this stuff yesterday. See that little bottle right there? Where is that Where the camera? See that little bottle? 250 bucks. Gnarly. All right, we ran out yesterday. I had to go uh uh I had to go pick it up on a Sunday and that um usually I All right, so thank you for uh uh Thank you for coming in here, Bar. Are you going to hang out with me a little bit? Okay. All right. So, Mario, I'm so glad that we're able to keep your eye pressure under control. All right, here we go. The miracle of medicine. Even though you have to mortgage your house several times to pay for medicines, it's a miracle. Now, up here, let's uh, let's go here. Now, watch this. Let's go up. I'm going to put these wings here. Put these wings here. And then coming down here, watch this. We're going to draw this bat wings. Da -da 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 -da. Bat marshmallow. Bat marshmallow. Do you guys love it? Let me know on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on on Zoom, in the chat box. What do you guys think of our bat marshmallow? Now, I'm going to draw these the, the these lines from where the, these are the fingers of the wing, right? So you curve those down. And then you scallop. This is called scallop, or I call it fluting. Fluted. You flute that in. And you flute that in. I love scallops. What's going on? But you love scallops. Oh, yeah. Mario and I... Mario and I love scallops. Shoguns. Yeah, we got to we got to get that shogun set. Uh, it's what's that called? There's a tapachi, 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 where they they they. Well, if you go there and sit, they cook it on the grill in front of you. But since COVID, we just we've ordered it for uh, in, for uh, DoorDash. DoorDash for a win. Those guys, boy, they sure they sure came in an incredibly important time. I'm so grateful for all those delivery people who go pick it up for for us here. Dark down here, and it gets lighter, and it gets lighter, lighter, lighter. Okay, dark down there. I'm going to shade. Dark down here and it gets lighter. Look at that. Do you love it? Do you love our do you love our uh mighty marshmallow guy here? Well, this is wrapping up our lesson, our mighty money. I'll be back again at four o'clock. I'm going to help Mario with his lawnmower. Then I'm going to do some, uh, I'm going to scan a lot of artwork to get this artwork up posted. I'm going to go for a, Mario, are we going to go for a hike today? We're going to go for a hike after you do your lawn? Yeah. All right, so we might be, it might be a little late for the four o'clock, but I'll be here. But we're going to go for a hike. We got to get, we got to get our hike in. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, taking off here. Now, I'm going to add some action lines, put some clouds. Some are big and some are small. And, what's this and then down here. Now, Mario, yeah, I can't hear. I don't have my hearing aids in. What so. did Facebook say on the bottom? Oh, what did Facebook say? They, no one has commented yet, but they're all saying hi to you. Mario's just excited to get some some uh, house cleaning and some lawn mowing jobs lined up, lined up. And if you want to read about Mario's dedicated story, go to his GoFundMe page. It's Mighty Mario's Dream Quest. There's Mario's logo. Ryan Shaw gave that as a gift to Mario, his logo. 
Mighty Morrow's 2021 Dream Quest. Check that out. Tell us his whole story. All right, guys. Uh, let's put our title here. Let me zoom out. I want to get all these drawings here so you can see them all. Let's pull this one up here so you can see it. Can you guys see all my drawings? And that looks cool. I'm going to put the title right in the middle. All right, this is Mark Kistler's That's Me. Woohoo! And for those of you who've been here for two hours, thank you. Mark Kistler's live Zoom daily drawings. Daily drawing. Ooh, this is our Mighty Mondays. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to put the date. I got to put the date. Mighty Mondays. This is our 11 a.m. class. And the date is April 26, 2021. And this is our Fine Arts Academy week number 37 of 41 weeks. And I'll sign it. You guys sign your name. You sign it. I might look at my, my name's on here twice, isn't it? I, I think I need my name more. There's our Marching Marshmallows. I got to finish that background. I didn't get that horizon finished back here. You can do that all the way across. Look at that. You can put it, you can do it all the way across if you want. I can't stop myself, Mario. Yeah. Look at this. I got to put it all the way across. There we go. So we have the marching marshmallows with cast shadows. Got to put the cast shadows. I'm missing the cast shadows back here. Put the cast shadows. Oh, I love that one. Then we have our little marshmallow piggy. I got to shade the little more uh, shadow around the eyes. Look at this. I just can't stop myself. I got to keep on adding detail, Mario. And I'm going to put a little shadow under the snout. Put a little shadow under the snout here. A little shadow under the little, little piggy snout. I'm going to put a little shadow under his belly. A little shadow. Shadow, shadow, shadow. And then we have our stack of marshmallows. Oops, I forgot to shade this one. It gets lighter. Remember, it's a round object. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, well, guys, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, look at we have uh, D-Band 75. So uh, before, in, uh, I'll say goodbye to Instagram because um, when I, I always lose Instagram. So I'm going to come around here, say goodbye to Instagram. Bye, Instagram. So we'll end that one. I got to end, uh, go to share to IGTV. And then I got to pick the picture. Let's see here. Ooh, that's good. We'll do that one. And then I'll write on this one. It's like, uh, let's draw. Let's draw. Uh, uh, let's draw marching marshmallows. Marching marshmallows. I always have to do this one right in the middle of the, the live. And I'll go to add to the series. And we'll add it to you. Can draw in 30 seconds. Done. Post. All right. So we got Instagram taken care of. How's that, Mario? Then, uh, Melody, save that recording if you would. Save that recording. And I'll go up here and I'll say goodbye to my YouTube and to my Facebook.